Skies are setting up for a great sunrise this morning. I'm Sarah Fortner in for Tom Brain. He's got the rest of the week off and I have got smooth sailing as far as your forecast goes into the weekend. Skies over West Little Rock, mainly clear. Going to see some pinks, some purples out there this morning. If you're able to safely snap a photo, send them my way. It may look like this one. Let's get right into our graphics. Your sunrise forecast seven, eight, nine. We're spending them in the 60s and 70s, but before you know it, going into that lunch hour, 80s back on the board. But a lot of colors out there in that sunrise. You can tweet me, Facebook me, or tag me in your Instagram photos with that hashtag be on 11. Love it. Show me what you got. 68 degrees now, clear skies, calm wind, dew point. That's different. It's lower than it typically is for August, making it feel like 68 little to no humidity or heat index values to fret about this afternoon. 57 now in Clinton, 63 in Pine Bluff, Arkadelphia coming in in the 50s as well. Feeling fantastic across the state and very similar skies to what we had yesterday. Nothing but blue out there. Clear to start your day. Staying clear all day long, too. They're going into the forecast. 85 by the time you pick the kids up from school. Keep in mind that humidity after today will be rising. So take advantage of this pleasant weather. 91 will be the high in Mina this afternoon. So a little warmer to the south and west. Here's the deal, though. High pressure is going to scoot away from Arkansas. Initially, we're in the sweet spot with that northeast wind pulling in that cooler and drier air. Now come, say, Thursday, Friday, I'm going to focus my attention on this frontal boundary coming out of the west. Initially, it looks like it's going to be bringing some well welcomed rain into that forecast for Saturday and Sunday. Unfortunately, though, watch this. Your f Friday 5 p.m. drive home from work. We're all in the clear as that front gets closer. It collides with some dry air and that rain fizzles out. So we're diminishing the rain chance as we go into Saturday, but you will see more clouds on Saturday than you have all week. 87 today, sunny and comfortable northeast wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour tonight. A low of 61 feeling pleasant. This is your coolest temperature on that seven day forecast for some perspective. So enjoy that drive to work tomorrow morning. North wind three to 12 miles per hour should start off, but calm down um, as we go throughout the overnight hours. 90 degrees by Friday. Like I said, that sneaky heat getting back here by the weekend. We'll have that humidity increase with the clouds on Saturday, then a high of 94 Sunday, high of 94 on Monday as well. Elise, back to you. All right, Sarah, thanks a lot. 614. Meteorologist Sarah Fortner joining us from the Crane Kia Weather Garden. Just a little bit ago before we went to break, you showed us a live picture of the moon tonight. It is impressive to say the least. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Just uh, crystal clear skies in the metro. Not for everyone, though. And uh, fun fact about the moon tonight, we're at 97.2 illumination. And we just recently had a full moon, so that's why it's just so big and bright and beautiful in the sky. Let's get right to your weather forecast now. Satellite and radar not showing much in central Arkansas. Just got that one little light show going on near Ozark and Mulberry Mountain area. Beautiful out there. I'm sure if you're anywhere close seeing that light up in the sky, I'm sure it's magnificent. Now temperatures out right now are muggy. We're in the 70s and 80s. We're looking at temperatures staying in the 70s throughout the overnight hours. So yeah, there's that. So you know, plan accordingly. Let's talk quickly about Erica only because it's now just the remnants of Erica and we aren't really seeing any impact with this. It looks like it's going to go up into the western Gulf of Mexico and just kind of alley oop out into the coast for us. So you see all that moisture that's just been hugging to the eastern coast. If we had all this action going on, we'd be getting a lot more clouds and a lot more rain. But folks, that is not the scenario as we head into this week mainly clear except for that one little show in town right now. OK, so your headlines. Summer is hanging on it. Temperatures are trending above normal for several days. Little to no chance for rain in that extended spotty at best and that humidity is back. Dew points are climbing, so we're going to feel that mugginess back outside. How much rain are we looking at over the next 48 hours going into Monday? It's going to be few and far between in the morning hours, but in the afternoon, could get lucky with a sporadic shower, but not seeing a great chance in central Arkansas. We're going into the overnight hours, partly cloudy, mostly clear tomorrow. Same scenario waking up to in the morning, but then like I said, in the afternoon, we see those showers start to come alive, very scattered in nature. I only have a 20% chance for one of these. So like I always say this, if you 
get under one of these uh, rain showers, you're lucky because they're going to be very few and far between. High pressure back into control by Tuesday. Here's your hour by hour for to Monday highs in the low 90s, mid to low 90s. But here's the kicker feeling 96, 97. That's this number in the box, what it actually feels like. Lots of sunshine expected. It's just going to be feeling a little toasty. Hey, I had a great question from Martha Myrick on Twitter tonight. I have the entire top off. Well, that's supposed to be Jeep. She spelled it wrong. <laughs> she spelled it right. I spelled it wrong. I'd like to know if I need to put it back on before Friday. Hashtag ARWX. Hashtag WX help. WX means weather. Okay, here's the deal, Martha. I think the chances for rain this week are going to be few and far between, but I will say this. If you get under one of these rain showers, it can produce quite a bit of rain, so just play it by ear. Going into Saturday, hot hogs. Yeah, it's going to be toasty for that first game of the season. Highs in the mid-90s pretty much all week. Little to no chance for rain, Phil Buck, until maybe next weekend. Sarah, thank you. A flash flood.